These are the seven women behind the worst men in history. Sajida Talfa. The first on the list is the wife of Saddam Hussein, a former Iraqi dictator. You might not know this, but Sajida Talfa was also his biological cousin. They got married in 1963, and after 50 years of marriage, in 1986, he married again. But he did not leave Sajida. He remained married to her. This enraged her and their son, Uday Hussein. Uday took the life of his father's bodyguard as he believed that the bodyguard introduced Hussein to Shabandar, his second wife. Talfa fled the country after Hussein's subsequent execution in 2006. Her current whereabouts are unknown. Eva Braun Eva Braun is the wife of Adolf, a German dictator. She met Adolf in 1929. At that time, she was just 17 years old. Adolf was 23 years older than her. Eva attempted to take her life twice during their 16-year relationship. Reportedly, she did not want to escape Adolf. She just wanted his attention. Adolf did not like appearing in public with Eva as he believed it would ruin his image as the tough Fuhrer. In the year 1945, as Allied forces zeroed in on his bunker in Berlin, the married couple locked themselves in a room and ended their lives together. Amal al Sada. Amal al Sada was not Osama bin Laden's only wife, but reportedly, she was his favorite. Allegedly, she stood up with him during the September 2001 attacks all the way up to his demise 2011. Her uncle revealed that Amal told her husband that she want to be martyred with him and she won't leave as long as he was alive. Her leg was wounded during the raid that ultimately claimed Osama's life. After the demise of her husband, she lived somewhere in Pakistan. Paula Dietz Paula Dietz was the wife of serial offender Dennis Rader. He is also known as BKT. He kept his heinous offenses hidden from the public as well as his entire family for more than three decades. In 2005, after his arrest and subsequent confession, a judge granted Paula an emergency divorce. She didn't have to wait for 60 days. Authorities believe that she had some speculations and suspicions but did not know the details of her husband's secret life. Today, not much is known about her. She relocated after the divorce and keeps a low profile. Nadezhda Alleluyeva The wife of Joseph Stalin, Nadezhda Alleluyeva, met him when she was 10 years old. They got married in the year 1919 when she was 18 years old. At that time Joseph was 39. Their relationship was quite tense as Joseph was vicious. Reportedly, she also suffered from severe headaches. It was either her headaches or her husband, but she ultimately took her own life in 1932. However, a 2005 documentary presents evidence that she was slain, possibly by Stalin himself. Why? Because she criticized his policies at a party on the evening of her demise. May Capone, the wife of infamous Chicago mobster Al Capone, May Capone, led a fairly quite and normal life. On the contrary, Al Capone led was a ruthless and feared offender. He was a considered to be the mastermind behind St. Valentine's Day carnage. May married Al Capone in 1918. She was a doting wife and mother who attend her church and dutifully visited her husband while he served his years in Alcatraz. On the HBO series Broadwalk Empire, Marcella Lentz Pope plays May Capone, and she is portrayed as being mostly oblivious to her husband's unlawful activities. Clara Patacci, the last woman on the list is Clara Patacci, daughter of a Vatican doctor and longtime other woman to Mussolini. Unlike other women on the list, Clara Patacci was not a wife but the long-term mistress of Benito Mussolini. The Italian prime minister or the dictator, Mussolini, had many wives and mistresses, but Clara was the only one who was assassinated alongside him. 
She was her mistress for several years until she was slain at the age of 33. After the two were assassinated, their bodies were strung up at a petrol station in Milan. A large crowd gathered around the petrol station, and people took out their anger on the deceased bodies. Don't forget to click the subscribed button, and also click the notification bell for more updates for my new videos. Thank you, so much, for watching.